Hey Facebook, it's Sarah Ayler here uh, at Softflex Company and we are going to be exploring a technique that I like to do on our mini macrame boards today. We're going to be working on making a wrap bracelet. Here is one that I started but we're gonna be using Softflex for it. So not only is it gonna be Softflex wire running down the sides, but then we're gonna use a very fine soft touch beading wire to actually weave the beads into place on the bracelet. Um, so I'm super excited to show that to you. And um, in order to get your own free macrame board, all you need to do is go to www.softflexcompany.com and buy one of our many Softflex Trio options that we have there. I'm gonna go through a few of the trios um, for you to look at, but all you have to do is buy a trio and they're gonna throw a free macrame board in with your order as, as long as supplies last. Um, so I'm really super excited about that. Let's look at a couple trios and then one last thing we're gonna take a look at this great book that we have available on our website as well called Micro Macrame Basics. Um, it's by Raquel Cruz. And this will be some macrame projects that you can do just straight knotting, um, whereas I do a lot more weaving on the macrame board than I do um, actual knotting. So I'm gonna flip the camera down and we're just gonna start kind of looking at things and going through it. Um, but I'm so glad to see all of you. Thank you so much for joining me today. I have a new kind of new setup here, which is exciting for me. Just a little bit here, there we go. Um, I am trying to use the tripod in a new and special way and I'm hoping it makes everything so much easier. Yeah, okay, so right now on our website you can get this free mini macrame board with purchase of any of our trios. So I just kind of wanted to bust through some of the new trios that are available. For example, this is Mermaid's Lagoon which is our turquoise, topaz, and bone. You could buy the Neon Knights. If you've been looking at these trios and wanting to get one, this is a great time to do it because um, getting a free macrame board makes it really worthwhile. You've got pink, a really beautiful pink rhodochrosite, yellow, and then also a turquoise. We've got our Bloom Trio which we all discovered together right here in a live video. I used it for a design. Um, oh, who was that? I feel like it was Isla or someone. But um, we used garnet, pink tourmaline, and tanzanite. This one's called Bloom. We have got our Harvest Moon Trio that just went up recently, which is our copper, our citrine, and our garnet. And then last but not least, in our new trios, we've got our Autumn Spice, which is our Citrine, Red Jasper, and Purple Amethyst. And um, I love this color combination. So it's one of my favorites. And then just to give you an idea of some of the seasonal stuff that's coming up, we've got a Festival of Lights trio, which is white, dark blue, and silver. Um, kind of pairs along with Hanukkah, but also great Christmas colors. We've got a Cornucopia Trio, which has Bone, Imperial Topaz, and Red Jasper. And then last but not least, we've got Jingle Bells, which is Garnet, 24 Karat Gold, and uh, Green Emerald. So you can buy any of our trios, um, and you will end up with a free mini macrame board as long as supplies last. Um, we don't have a huge supply. I think we started off with at least 50 boards. So if you want to get one of these, I would do it quickly um, because it is such a fantastic deal. We're going to be using it today on our show. So um, I like to use the mini macrame board, not so much for macrame, although I think macrame is awesome and I do do it sometimes. 
I really like weaving um, these really fun bracelets on the macrame board. And so I'm going to show you how to get this started and um, how you can make one of these yourself. I'm using beads from Beadaholic that I had left over from a design challenge. So Softflex does not carry any of the beads that are shown here, um, but we do carry the lobster clasps. Oh, and I didn't even, I, I'm so excited today that I didn't even get a chance to tell you. We have crimps just loaded today, brand new. We have crimps in a brand new color. These are our Softflex crimp tubes. They're in a black finish. Um, so this will be a new tube in addition to our gold filled, our sterling silver, and our copper that you can now purchase. So you can now get them in a black finish in the two by twos. They come in a 20 count or a 50 count. You can find them right on the Softlex homepage, and I'm going to be using these today. Um, they match really well with our gunmetal lobster clasps. So I pulled one of those out to use as well. And then we just loaded up some new ear wires too in the same kind of black color. And then I think there are, and maybe someone can help me. I think there's like a vintage brass and what was the other color? Silver. I think it's silver, black, and and vintage brass. So you can get your ear wires too while you're at the website. So we've got all sorts of fun new things and great deals going on. I can't even keep up with it all, really. Um, okay, so let us let me move my beads out of the way. Now, I'm using, like I said, some beads from Beadaholic. I've got some little seed beads here that are probably like a size eight. I've got um, some check glass just in like a rondelle in two different sizes in the hematite color. I've got some more that are the same size here, but they're bright silver. And then I've got some little just kind of silver spacer beads. So it doesn't really matter which beads you use. This is gonna work the same and you can do it in any color and you can do multiple shapes. You'll see that I actually will do multiple beads in some places like that, you know, it's um, totally up to you. The sky's the limit. I'm just gonna show you the technique and then I hope you guys take it and uh, make it your own as you move forward. So I'm gonna move all these beads just to the left here so I have a little more space. I'm gonna move this out of the way. We're gonna attach first um, here at the top. So I'm gonna open up my lobster clasp. <clears throat> and for size, I am using a nine and a half millimeter gunmetal. You could use much bigger or smaller. You could use a toggle. Um, you really don't have to be limited uh, to this particular clasp, but this is what I'm using. And it's only a dollar, so it's a great, great price. And I'm going to get, I'm using medium soft flex is what I'm gonna use for the base on the sides. And then I'm using very fine soft touch, if you've wondered what this diameter is for, you're gonna to learn today, um, to do the weaving. And so to start out, I'm just gonna take a really healthy length of medium. I want this to be able to wrap around my wrist, doubled up at least twice. And so that's what I'm doing is just kind of testing. I might make it just a little longer just to be certain. You can wrap it, if you wanna wrap it three times, you could make it longer by all means. Um, now the very fine's the little bit of a trickier part because it's actually weaving back and forth. I used five feet on this one here and I feel like I'm almost halfway, let me see. Yeah, I've used two and a half feet so far and let's measure how far that got me. So depending on your length of bracelet that you're trying to make, and why is it I never have a measuring tape? Never, when I need it. For some reason, they just totally disappear. Um, so let me guess, let me guess. Um, I'm a six inch wrist. I'm gonna guess this is at least four, four and a half inches. Um, so two and a half inches of soft, or two and a half feet of soft touch got me 
four and a half inches. So I probably want to almost double that work with like a 10 foot length, um, just so that I have enough to keep going as long as I want to go. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and trim that as well. And so I measure, I'm about five feet tall. I measure from fingertip to fingertip for five feet. <clears throat> I'm going to keep it short just since I'm demonstrating here, but if you want a continuous length, you'd want to make it probably, I'm guessing, about 10 feet. Okay, so next, I'm going to take both of these wires, the soft touch very fine and the soft touch medium, and I'm going to slip them into the loop on my lobster clasp. And then I can go ahead and kind of find the center of both wires. So I'm going to find the center on this medium wire, and then I'm going to pull and find the center on my soft touch wire too. Here we go. And then I'm going to take all four of those wires, and I'm going to string one of these brand new black two by two crimp tubes. We have not introduced a new color of crimp tubes in, I don't even know how long, but we get asked for them all the time. So I finally found one that I felt good about that we could introduce into our line. And um, this is them. And I'm still searching for the perfect vintage brass crimp tube too. One of these days I'm going to find it. So I just strung my 2x2 two two crimp tube onto all of my wires and look at that black crimp tube on the black wire. Looks awesome. And I'm just pulling it down to center my wires here at the top. You want to always leave enough room that your clasp can move around just a little bit. And um, once you've got it where you want it, you go ahead and take your magical crimpers, find the center of your plier in your magical crimpers. So you want the dead center. Get your crimp tube in there. Make sure your wires are symmetrical on the loop. Did you see how that loop kind of popped out? And pull it in, reel it in a little bit. Looks like I gotta kinda keep tugging on it to make sure it looks nice. And then I'm gonna compress. The first time I compress, it should create what looks like a little four square ravioli shape. And then I'm going to turn it on its side and I'm gonna center it again and I'm gonna compress again. And then you're just going around and around it, tightening it down, compressing that tube into a round ball. Ta-da! Okay. Rochelle says, I have three or four rulers on my pegboard and I often use one of my desktop to measure. Yeah, I don't know why I cannot keep track of my, um, well, I do. I take that back. I have these little measuring tapes that are adorable from multiple different companies and my kids love them. That's what's happened is they have one of the little darlings at home has taken it and ran to pretend to measure with it. So I need to get one that just isn't cute so that little toddlers are not interested <laughs> in it whatsoever. Okay, so I've got my wires, and I'm just, I don't know if you saw, I just took this little lobster clasp, and I just pushed him in at the top of my mini macrame board, um, which you can get free on our Softlex company website just by buying a Softlex Trio, and I think that's good until next Monday or as long as supplies last. Okay, so now I'm just going to gently tug my wire down here, and that's just to keep it kind of out of my way. And I've found the natural 
um, way that my soft touch is, is going to come away from that crimp. And what I'm going to do to start is I'm going to take a small bead. Let me move this thing underneath me. I'm going to take a small bead first. So let's do maybe one of these seed beads. And I think there, I can pass through that enough times. So I've got one of my little seed beads. It's like a size 8 seed bead. I'm going to pass one end of the wire through the seed bead. And then I'm going to take the other end in the opposite direction. And I'm just going to go ahead and pull that up to the top here. You can see it there. And then what I'm going to do on this very first one is I'm actually going to run the wire underneath on both sides. So I'm taking my very fine soft touch wire on both sides and I'm running it just underneath on either side. <clears throat> and what I want to do, I think that's right. Yeah, that kind of pops it into place. And then I'm going to string back through that little seed bead from both directions. And I just do this on the very first one to kind of anchor it into place. I don't normally pass through my beads this many times. I think this is my fourth pass through this bead. So you do want this first bead to have like a fairly large hole that the soft touch, it's very thin, but you want it to pass through four times. So one thing you'll notice as I'm doing this is that I don't ask. It's like a needle point itself. It has um, a stainless steel wires braided inside of it. I'm just going to pull on both ends to get this nice and tight and then I'll bring it up close so you guys can see it. Um, so now I've got my first bead in place and we can get going down the rest of the bracelet. Again, having a big bead here is important so you can go through it four times with the soft touch. Um, Next, all I'm going to do is take my wire on the left, pass it under my medium wire on the left, and then I'm going to pick what bead I'm doing next. So I think I'm going to do, I think I'll jump up and do one of these seed beads, one of these little metal beads, and then maybe another little seed bead. And then I'm taking the wire on the right and going underneath this one here on the right. And I'm going to pass it through all three of those same beads in the opposite direction. And as I start using the bigger beads, it'll probably be easier to see. So then we've got Yes, voila. So by using soft touch, which is a stainless steel beading wire, it's seven strands of stainless steel braided together, and then it has a very thin nylon coating. It's just going to be a really strong bracelet. I don't have to worry about the beads fraying or breaking down a thread. It's going to be really strong and very substantial. And then, of course, having soft flex be the main wires on either side is also going to give it a lot of strength. Anna says, Sarah, would the 024 wire be too thick to go through the 2x2 two two crimp tube in this design? You know, that's a good question. Um, 024 does go through a 2x2 two two crimp tube, but with the addition of the soft touch 2, it might be... Um, it might be. You don't have to put the soft touch through the crimp though. You can just start up here at the very first bead and go around, you know, and then go around. Um, you don't have to actually put it into the crimp. So you could theoretically do this with 024 or you could use a bigger crimp. You could use the 3 by 3 crimp too if you wanted to. Jamika says, I have an adhesive measuring tape on my workbench, but it's usually covered with stuff. <laughs> 
<laughs> Isn't that the way it works? Okay, so I slid my wire under the left side and I'm gonna pick what beads. I think I'll just do that pattern for a few passes. So we're gonna do another seed bead and and you could do colors, you guys. Um, Soft Touch 010 only comes in black, white, or satin silver. Um, but Soft Flex Medium comes in 26 different colors. So you could pair like turquoise with white. Um, and you'll see the white wires wrapping around, but it'll still probably look really beautiful. Um, you could do, you know, any of the colors that I just showed you with the trios. You could do a citrine, a red jasper, do a tanzanite or a garnet or a pink tourmaline. You know, you could really make this color on the outside um, something special. Okay, so I've got my left side going. I'm going to slide under on my right side. And this is just such a great deal. Buying a trio, which I think they're normally about $18.50, you're gonna get a free macrame board, which Kristen or Thomas, um, what is the retail price on the macrame board? I'm pretty sure this is like a smoking hot deal. And I'm just gonna keep going. We'll kind of see how it works. Um, I don't know if it's like right angle weave. That's a good question, Bridget. I think it's more like a ladder stitch. I'm just stitching around the edges um, of my, my thicker wire because it's just going, you know, in and out, in and out, in and out, in and out. $9.98 on the, the retail on a macrame board. And I think Kristen um, just posted an email that had a blog post with a different macrame design using soft flex. And then I assume, Kristen, are you doing something on the macrame board next Monday on YouTube Live? Let's see. <clears throat> Although that may depend on if we have any left. <laughs> it's such a good deal. Okay, so I've got um, my next row, and I'm just going to keep, like, smoking along on this so we can kind of see. Oh, Kristen says, I am. All right. And just taking my right side, and I'm going to slide it under. And I'll bring it up close now that we've done a few rows so you can see. What's also great about doing this on a macrame board, something that I love, is I can just leave it and come back to it. And I do that by just sliding the wires into the notches on either side. And you can see there's the start of my next um, bracelet. And then it's just notched down here as well with the thicker wire. Very handy. And when I pull it out of here, it doesn't kink because our wire is just so flexible. It doesn't kink it or, you know, cause any problems or anything. All right, so let's add a different bead now that we've gone a few rows um, doing this style. So you can see I've done three beads in a row here. I've done a seed bead, a metal bead, and a seed bead. You can, the sky is the limit. You can do multiple beads. You can do, um, Single beads, I'm gonna do a single bead now. Let's try that, just so you can see what that looks like. I'm just passing through the bead on one side, passing the wire under and through the bead on the other side. Rochelle said, I took advantage of this offer last year. If I do it again, I can add to my unfinished projects. That's true. Yeah, you can have multiple macrame boards going at the same time, which is very handy. So let's pin that down, and then you can see what it looks like when you add in a full-sized bead. And um, if you change size or change what you're doing, like here at the top, 
you can see what it does is it just makes a different shape. So if you go a little wider or a little skinnier, it's just going to change the shape of the bracelet, which I think is kind of cool. I really like that. Um, so I think I'm going to do a couple more of those because I think that'll really set off this sort of hematite looking bead. And um, then we'll take a look at my other bracelet. And I am going to head out because we are still having some technology issues over here. So I'm going to be working on that project this afternoon. Ooh, and we should take a look at this macrame book too. Let's do that before I leave. Okay, so we've got three more beads. I'm just going to run through this pattern a couple more times so you can see how it starts to kind of come together. And you're just going to do the same thing for the full length of the bracelet. And then on the other side, you're just going to crimp it into um, either a jump ring or you can even just crimp it into a little circle to attach your lobster clasp. If you're doing a toggle, you would just choose the second half of your toggle. Um, it doesn't have to be really difficult. Denise says, I can't stop thinking about the unseen turquoise. Oh, did the turquoise not make it on the live show? Is that what happened? What do you mean by unseen turquoise? I know I had to cut the live show off. Um, for the live sale last week because the internet kicked me off. Um, is that what you mean? Hi, Eve. I'm just tightening it down. I'm going to do a couple more rows here. I'll try to finish one of these off. I don't know that I'll get it finished off today, but I'll take it home with me and try to finish it off tomorrow or the next day. And I'll post a picture in our Softlex VIB group on Facebook. That's always a good place to get inspiration using Softlex, not only from us, but from all the wonderful designers out there that are using our products too. Hey, Vanessa. Oh, Kim says you started but didn't finish the turquoise. Oh, I'm sorry, you guys. They will be in the next live sale, um, Softlex live sale for sure, because we are we kept all of those items ready to go so Rosa doesn't have to do them over again. So it'll be there. I just couldn't, couldn't imagine trying to figure out all the comments on two separate videos. So this way it kept it a little more organized. Thank you. Karen says this is a very cool weave. Nice, yeah, and I love how strong it is too because I'm using soft flax and soft touch. You know, you've got the strength of steel. You'd be surprised how even small beads are like little knives. They've got little sharp edges. And if a thread is rubbing against it in just the wrong way, you can end up with some real problems. So this is pretty handy if you wanna make something that's gonna last a really long time. Hi, Patty. And I think I'm on number five, and then we'll look at the one that I made earlier today, or started to make earlier today. With the same beads, you could totally do this with colored beads. I was thinking kind of like New Year's, you know, sort of like sparkle. I wear a lot of black. Um, I like black, I think it's really elegant. So that's what I was shooting for here. And then of course, these beads are from Beadaholic. They participated in a design challenge um, earlier this year. I think it was earlier this year. And I uh, just took some of the beads from that design challenge and decided to add it in here um, in this project. So you can find, I assume, most of the beads that I'm using today right on their website, which is beadaholic.com. And I'll add in one more big bead here. You can do a pattern or you can totally have it be random too. That's the fun of doing a bracelet like this. You can use leftover beads, you know, use your pile of leftover beads, pick out some that are really lovely together, nice color palette, and um, just go for it. There we go. 
you can keep going that way do the same exact thing the whole way this was a little bit more of my random version so I started out at the top with some three bead sections I did kind of a random big bead and then I was going to do a bunch of these so when it wraps around I'll have you know a different look coming around the other side because um, I'm going to wrap it at least twice um, in this case. So yeah, this is a really fun bracelet. Anyone can do it. Totally easy. And right now you can pick any of our trios, any of our trios on the Softlex Company website. And all you have to do is buy a trio and you get a free mini macrame board, which is about a $10 value. Um, so it's a really great, great um, offer. It says, can, uh, Tanya says, can you use medium or does fine work best? I'm using medium along the sides here. You could use medium or heavy along the sides here. And then I'm using very, very fine soft touch um, for the weaving part. And I think that works the best just because you want to be able to go in and out of those holes multiple times. Um, so you don't want to get too thick of a diameter. And it also pulls really nice and tight. You can see on the ends there. Um, it's a really nice tight weave as well. Um, so let's take a quick look. This is a book that's available on our website too. If you do choose to get the free macrame board, you might look at this book. It's Micro Macrame Basics and Beyond. And it just has some really great, neat macrame projects that you can try. Most of this is threads and, and cords. It's not soft flex, um, but still lots of fun knotting techniques that might be really helpful if you're into macrame. This could be a really great resource for you um, to be able to make some amazing designs. So take a look at that as well when you're on the website. I have got a quick schedule. Let me see. I did a new Oh, it does work. Hello. <laughs> I have my tripod. Kristen's going to be so excited for me. I have my tripod. James taught me this actually. Um, facing on the other side of the table. So it's no longer like directly in front of me and it's much easier uh, to use. Vanessa's asking how much the book is. It looks like it's $21.99 for the book. And it is a full 110 page book. So it's a nice long one, and it's from Kalmbach, so you know it's a really good quality. Okay, so schedule coming up. James is taking a little hiatus from his YouTube video series to help us deal with our technology issue. He's our project manager for it, so he will be gone for a few weeks, but then he'll be back with his conversations in Wire. In the meantime, you can check out Kristen this coming Monday, 11 a.m. on YouTube, October 29th. She'll be doing something with the macrame board as well, just like I did, and unless we sell out, which... Maybe we will, and then she'll do something else, but we'll see. And um, October 30th, I'm going to be doing a Softlex Live design challenge with the Whole Bead Show, which is in Oakland, and I'll be uh, opening a box with a bunch of different beads and supplies from vendors that are going to be at the Whole Bead Show in Oakland along with us. We're going to be there, too. And on October 31st, we are going to do our Black Magic Kit for Halloween. And we'll have our new kit available for the following month, which is called Holly Jolly Christmas Design Challenge Kit. So we're just packaging that up now. It's adorable. I know you Christmas fans out there are just going to love it. Um, so I'm excited for that too. And of course, I'm really excited about the Black Magic Kit. I know a lot of you guys have yours and have started kind of playing around with it. So I'm looking forward to it. Oh, Eve, I'll tell James that you love his show. He'll be back. Don't worry. Um, he just needs to take a few weeks off while we work on some projects here. But then he'll be back to normal. And um, he'll have a bunch of new ideas for you with Wire. So thanks for spending some time with me today. Make sure you go take advantage of this fantastic deal. Buy a trio, any trio. I think we had 16 options before we, we probably got like, over 20 options and trios now at least get your free macrame board 
More than one is handy, like Rochelle said. Um, you can hold your projects on it and you can work on more than one project at a time. Um, so it, it is really handy. Thanks, Karen. Karen says she enjoys my tutorials. Thank you. I enjoy spending time with you guys. Thank you so much for being here today and just spending a little bit of time with me and for all those that watch it on the replay. Um, I appreciate your time too and I will talk to you guys all next week. So check us out, www.softlexcompany.com. Bye guys.